Hi, I'm Andrew, and it's time to catch up on the development of Tadpole Tales, what I've been up to, and answer some of your questions. For those who don't know, Tadpole Tales is a 2D shoot 'em up game about a tadpole cleaning rivers and fighting pollution. Now, with that being said, let's... Okay, I should probably address this. There are several reasons why Tadpole Tales is free, but the main reason is because this is a passion project. We don't want money to have any sort of involvement in this game, we plan on using this to show our dedication and ability to make beautiful games to hopefully, in the future, when we release an actual bigger monetizable game, we will then already have a number of people who already know us for Tadpole Tales and Maddie. P.S. Tadpole Tales is also a very small game. There's only one level that isn't very much different. Now, with that being said, let's get on with the updates. Firstly, we added an option panel that pops up when you press the option button in the main menu. There's a slider for sound effects and volume, as well as the aspect ratio and the full screen toggle. I then added the cursor visibility depending on what scene the player is in, using only this simple line of code in my level manager script. And since I want the game to be able to pause mid-game, and we still don't have the art yet, I reused the option panel and it works now as a placeholder. Then I got a lot of comments from the playtesters that the heart drops are quite unfair. In some games you get hearts all the time and in others you only get them somewhere at the end of the game, making some of the runs very unfair. So what I did was on top of the randomness I added some constraints. There are two rules that I added. If you kill less than 6 flies, the drop chance for the heart is 0% and if you kill more than 16 flies, your drop chance of the heart is 100%. And now it feels a lot better. Hearts become in an unpredictable pattern, but at least once in a while you will be getting a heart. Which of course makes the game a lot easier. And now of course, I promise you this is not a feature creep. Uh, Giacomo and I actually had this been planned for a long time. The game now also has a hard mode or an expert mode. The hard mode is just like normal mode, but hearts no longer spawn from flies, but they spawn when the boss is killed. Now, visually, I had the pleasure to mess around with the 2D lighting from the background, as well as added some particle systems for the fireflies. I then started testing a build, and I've stumbled upon a huge problem. From main menu to the gameplay, the game takes about 10 seconds to load. That is not okay. And this is probably because of all the textures that the game takes but of course, I couldn't let it be like this because it would just not only confuse the player, it's just very annoying. After some research, I found a solution called bootstrapping. Basically, what I do is that I create a fake scene at the beginning of the game, forcing the game to load all the textures. I then load the intro, pretending like nothing happened, and this seemed to have solved the problem. I know it's not a proper bootstrap, but I'm kind of out of time, and this is basically fixing with the duct tape. Tomer has been working on the final boss sound effects and hear how they sound. Tomer and I worked together on implementing the player sound effects in the game. He said that his next work will primarily focus on the UI sound effects as well as implementing all the sound effects in the Unity. And guys, I have to make a confession. Being a first time game developer, unfortunately, I was unable to estimate how long certain tasks would take me. And because of that, I'm actually a little bit behind my schedule. I hope I'll still be able to release the game on the 15th of January. I'll try my hardest, but uh, I can't promise anything since I lack a lot in experience. I know it's not the end of the day if I release it a bit later, but I also want to be able to keep a good habit of releasing my game on time. This is one of the most important rules that I've set for myself, but of course, if not everybody in most cases, you're mostly not going to be able to finish your game on time. Now, in my life this week, my girlfriend's sister came over to visit and she brought her cat. On a Saturday, my girlfriend and I decorated our living room to make it a lot more Christmassy. Leggy has been doing fine, I fed it water on regular times, but of course the cold weather really isn't helping it, but it's still holding up, so I hope that's okay. <laughs> the questions with why the game is free, I have addressed all of them at the beginning, I hope that was clear enough. If there's more questions, feel free to ask. I'll try my best to be as concise as possible with my explanations. We got 9 fan arts, which is amazing, and they came from Discord and Twitter. 
It's actually amazing to see our game getting fan art. Um, I think Giacomo and I have been dreaming about this for a very long time. I want to thank everyone who made the fan art. It really made my day every time I saw them, so thank you very much. Especially you, Feb. <laughs> And that has been my week. Thank you for watching and supporting this project. I'm trying my best to release this game on time. But of course, you never know. Even this devlog took me about 3-4 days. Which is a lot for my time since I only have about 40 days to release the game. If you have any questions that would like me to answer, please make sure to leave a comment down below with the keyword question so it is easier for me to find. And I will try my best to reply in the next devlog or in the description down below. Follow my Twitter if you wish to get daily updates as well as get in contact with me. And with that being said, thank you all again for watching and I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.